It'll be fun. Oh, I am the most majestic creature in Ark right now. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I think this is this is gonna be a good uh, good penalty for the for the loser. Yep, uh, this is uh, this is my punishment, ladies and gentlemen, for losing a mutation. Like for somebody who, you know, has been mutating creatures for two years. Yeah, I this lost. is my basically my first first attempt. We we uh, got together and, and bred Tapaharas, and, and um, they are yeah. beautiful. So uh, yep. Color Bomb, which I submitted for my one, actually died to a magnificent phantom Carn or a Carnotaurus. Yeah. Oh, really? Similar colors, though, right? The the difference was the body was not in cyan. Um, I think you had blue yeah. on the body, right? Yeah, I had blue but on otherwise the body. colors were close. Um, but uh, these went head to head. I don't know exactly what your split of the vote was. My people voted about. Three to two for my guy. It was about sixty forty. Was the yeah, split. So it was it was about the same. And I don't blame him because I even said that I would vote for yours if I <laughs> if I had a vote. So I feel like everyone agreed. Uh, well, our man, fans are are uh, you know loyal yeah. but also fair. Honest, yes. And I think yeah. I think to be fair, I would not have got this incredible color combo without a little guidance from you kind of figuring out what what might work well together what the options were and i think you reminded me of this really vibrant green for the beak and the the sort of veins of the sail and i had yeah. had that in like an unmutated white and i bet if i hadn't made that switch and you hadn't reminded me of that then <laughs> you, might, you might have won the whole thing because that green really makes the other colors pop fair enough fair enough but yeah so uh, we've decided that the winner gets to decide the punishment um or with or what we're wearing or paint each other basically something's gonna happen to the loser and this is my punishment i yeah. look magnificent though and i'm not gonna hate it <laughs> and i will point out that it's not that much of a punishment because i've chosen to dress myself in insane colors too it seemed only right if we're going to create <laughs> dinosaurs that look like this that we're not too bland that we look like a, a color bomb so <laughs> that is very true but today we've got something extremely exciting we're gonna. We're, I think we're gonna build something that has never really been built in Ark before. I looked on YouTube. I googled it, and nothing came up that looked looked like what we have in mind. Exactly. So we're gonna. I want. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually build a half dome into this wall here, and we've kind of decided that all of our flap flaps here should be kind of basically built into cliff sides like a, a glass aviary almost yeah sphere, sphere like it's gonna be pretty cool and we can the nice thing is we can actually basically put trees and stuff into the rock face here for like little perches and oh, stuff yeah 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 so i i have uh, i did a video recently on my channel where i created a, a really big large round platform and I did it based on a pixel circle, which is a technique I learned as a Minecrafter back in the day. You would look at how things are pixelated and be able to recreate them in the world. So we're going to kind of look at what a pixelated version of a sphere would be and mm -hmm. use that geometry to build it into this cliff face. Exactly. Now, that being said, we will be using uh, like a no foundation support for Structures Plus. But if you recreated this on the ground, it would work with vanilla structures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd want to create a, a big round foundation, probably using the same technique that how to create a pixel circle, basically. And it'll tell you, you know, how how many to go in a row, and then how you step in, and then basically it's a it's a pretty straightforward technique. Um, you guys can figure out. But uh, yeah, we'll be using uh, mods when it comes to decor, but when it comes to actually building, I think it'll be structures plus with foundation support off. Oh, you know what I completely them. forgot? These guys can attach to walls, too, so this oh, really dang. fits. I completely yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, it's an un... We yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, so this is going to be perfect. So I guess, yeah, man. do we want to just kind of experiment, see how this is going to work, and then bring them back once we figure out the whole process for this? I think so. Rather than tutorial style, it'll be closer to like a let's build, where we'll go get some progress done, come back and show you what we've done, explain any key concepts, and then we'll do a little bit more off camera because it will be a bit of a, it'll be a bit of a challenge and a little bit be, tedious too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, man. Let's find a home for these beauties. So welcome back, guys. We've been doing a little bit of work and we mentioned we would do some off camera and we've run into two issues. One that is common always in ARC, which is snap points. So there's a couple of things that can go wrong when you're building like this, uh, but you can get your snap points off uh, in terms of depth and in terms of height. We've done a decent job combating that. 
Um, and then the other issue that really stands out that I did not consider compared to doing this in Minecraft is walls are not square. Um, you, you can look at these, man. They are wider than they are tall. So by following the, the design of a perfect sphere, we've ended up with something that's a little bit squat. Yeah, a little it's bit flatter. It's like a, we threw a ball at a wall and it did not turn back into a ball. <laughs> and it's squished. And what we kind of what we're envisioning for the final process, guys, is uh, using the the what's available with S plus is tint all of this and uh, remove all of the metal bits so that what we have looks like a crystal perfect crystal sphere. So yes. the kind of I ha I have a theory of how we could fix this, and I laid out a version of it over here, where instead of designing something that's a perfect sphere, we would use an ellipse. And we could, I think if we redo it, we can redo it in a way where this would work perfectly in vanilla. Because our current version, we went with, so that we have one tile in the center, um, our thing is 17 by 17, which means technically you would need one wall in the center. So we've got a half wall here that allows us to build up, because in a sphere, this wall would be centered like that. So I think we can base this instead of on a sphere off an ellipse where we're still 17 by 17, but now our height is 22, which would be a nice even number. And it would mean we could start building right with uh, ceilings or with walls off a ceiling. And um, the one thing that you kind of pointed out is that we're already running into the extended bit of cliff above us. Yeah, and if, so we got to... Go if we go taller, a lot more of our sphere gets disappeared inside the, the rock rock face. So, so long story short, we have to blow this up and redo it. <laughs> right, which I don't mind doing because I think now that we've done it, we've got a pretty good feel for how to do it. Um, yes. I can be looking at this sphere, slapping stuff together, and if I can go left, you can go right, and we can kind of just mimic each other. Um, but I think overall we want to lower this down as well. So the final yes. version would be about... What would that be about five walls taller and hopefully that would balance out the, the the fact that arc walls aren't square so if we go down uh, why don't why don't i build off our current version um, to go, <laughs> your to body go is like stretching across the world for some reason yeah yours was for me as well so if we go down to here and have uh whoops have this be our new height yeah, then the top better. of our circle will come in just below. It should come in just below the, this um, this extension of the cliff face. Yeah. So I think the plan is take down what we've got now, uh, rebuild and rebuild with a slightly different uh, template to build off of. And you can see tag obliterating everything. I'm far enough away. I don't, <laughs> I don't hear the horrible noises your viewers are hearing. Um, but yeah, we'll, we're going to going to take it back build the same 17 by 17 pixel circle base and then we're going to build up instead of a height to se of 17 or whatever it is uh i guess we're technically eight and a half um we're going to build up to a height of 11 um so we'll be basing it off a 22 high ellipse and i've got the perfect way to fix this yeah i think that was good i'm just okay. figuring out a good way to blow all the stuff up so <laughs> so we can Oh, nope, doesn't it has, work. It has, <laughs> it has the durability of metal, this S plus glass. So oh, okay. I think, uh, I think we'll, we'll yeah, I, I, I have a decent way we can do it. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and then we'll, I think we'll come back to you guys when we have uh, either the outline of our new sphere or we've got our new sphere done and we can start throwing in our amazing looking tapaharas and, and decorating the inside with, uh, with greenery. Oh, yeah. All right, so we have completely destroyed everything, and we've come mm -hmm. back, and we have a significantly more spherical sphere, which is what we wanted. Yeah. So, so while we punched it into this little uh, sphere maker as an ellipse, uh, we're yeah. actually creating a sphere in the game, which we should probably put a link in the description for everybody um, with a link to this yeah. so that they can recreate it themselves or know what tool we're using to actually be able to do this. And the reason I was so into redoing it is that when we did the width, it makes total sense to do it in an odd number, but it doesn't really make sense to have the height in an odd number, which means, you know, you're not going to get a perfect sphere in that sense, right? But yeah. um, but because of the way, uh, because of the fact that we decided to redo things in this sense, we are able to 
you know, choose the height and we chose an even number, which means no half walls are needed. Nothing, nothing funky on that front is needed. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to yeah, fix. This... Here's one, of, here's one of the snap point issues guys, is you can have your walls snap there or, or here. Uh, and so I've, I've been doing it this way and trying to, trying to keep them in line. And then the other one that will cause issues is, um, building off a ceiling raises your snap point ever so slightly. So we end up with. Uh, potentially snap points off vertically and and horizontally. So just be consistent, whatever you do. We could do it the way you were doing it at first tag. We could do it the way I was doing it at first. Uh, yeah. As long as we do the same thing over and over, it's going to come together. But yeah, by, by using not a sphere as our base, we're kind of making up for the fact that the walls are shorter than they are wide. And we're ending up with something close to a sphere. So I think at this point, man, we finish our work. Um, we cut away and then we do all the the stuff of removing the metal bits and tinting the glass oh, God, and we yeah. bring people back <laughs> and, and show them the fantastic thing. The one thing I will say guys, this technique gets easier. We moved so much faster on the oh, redo of this <laughs> vastly. Like yeah. we just, we went, we, we got, we got to a point in three minutes that took us 25 minutes the time before. So if you're doing something like this, practice makes perfect. And we're going to keep practicing until we have something perfect. And then maybe we'll bring you guys back and show you how it's looking. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is about as circular as one can get in this game. Yeah, man. The, yeah, we could, like, you could have gone to 23 for height, but then you'd be on that half wall yeah you know no, i think 12 that... and a half or 11 and a half instead of 11. but if yeah, you no, go this... too higher i think it's two it's not dome enough yeah no, this it's... is this is looking pretty as close to perfect as you're gonna get i think i think so too here let's uh let's go i'm gonna go back and remove this crap <laughs> that i made from the test version of the 22 high um but <laughs> i like right. this man i like that we ended up with a version that doesn't have half walls or that we didn't force ourselves to improvise and go well let's just raise this section or this section yeah it looks good so i'm gonna try and make this foundation actually look like ground i guess somehow okay cool um, oh I done broke that. There we go. Like that. Now if I put enough, well that's a small bush. That's a little bit of a bigger bush. I want to do it without clipping through if possible. That's clipping a little bit. Yeah, this should work though. Uh, we could always do a second, um, like if it does clip through, you mean clip through the bottom of it? Uh, clipping through the uh, uh, the glass wall. I was trying to get it close, but without oh, yeah, clipping yeah, yeah. through. Yeah, so I want it to be... Maybe make it like a little garden area with some fountains in here, too. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. I do like yeah. the way this looks, though. It came out really bird nice. Bath. Little bird bath. <laughs> Never hurt nobody. No. Yeah, that does look good, man. And you know what? If it does clip through a little, it doesn't doesn't look terribly bad. Um, yeah. One thing that could always be done is you could I'm just thinking like you could almost have a half wall of wood around the bottom to try and hide that or something like that if we wanted to. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we'll figure good. it out. Not really necessary. We got this. Professionals. Yep. Well, the inside here is slowly coming together with the bushes. Yeah. I think it looks good with the uh, trying to make it look like actual land in there. Yeah, man. I agree. No tree bits stick out, so that's good. No. Nope. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think of that little bit of uh, sort of little bit of strip of wood at the bottom of the whole thing? I think it, it looks like it's creating yeah, it looks, support somehow, right? Yeah, I definitely like the way that looks. And then the the lighter transparency, it looks really good as well. From a yeah. distance, you can kind of spot the difference. Yeah, it definitely looks better. Yeah, you can see more of what's in there, right? Now, we do also have to figure out an entrance. <laughs> so maybe right point. in this right in this front bit, we could put a, a glass gate or something like that. Yeah, that's true. There are the dynamic ones, so you could choose any, any size you want. Nice. Completely forgot about that. Cool. Yeah, so right cool. now, I'm looking at uh, putting these dynamic pillars in. And then putting mm -hmm. them at an angle so they go into the to the rock yep. face. 
Uh, yeah. It likes to snap through the first time. The pillar options. So if I put it at negative like 40 or oh, negative 35. I, so the experience I've had with these is like, well, you've kind of already got your your angle right, but the experience I've had with them is where you're standing when you place it makes a huge difference. So if you're uh -huh. looking in the direction you want it to go, then the rotation is, is less of a thing. Um, okay. So now did, how do you attach other pillars to it? It's not like... It's oh, you don't. You, you extend it. So you go into it and uh, you go length, length and width. So if you extend that, to, uh, yeah, there you go. So then you oh can kind of figure out your angles. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. I, I built a crane using these. It turned out oh, really sick. Yeah. That's cool. Just like, you know, crane's got, you know, old sort of old school kind of crane that's got pulleys and weights and stuff. Nice. Um, very hard to do otherwise. How... Is that does that look like it's gonna actually support anything? Yeah, that should be good. Then we'll do length all the way. It doesn't make it. <laughs> it's a tragedy. So close. Alright, take off your pants. It's why? It's not not gonna be creepy. I got a present. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pants oh, I was off. looking right at your butt when you did that. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Gimme! You want me to drop them? Yeah, aren't I beautiful? You are, you're something. I am the most magic. There's UTC. He just ran Hi, away. wherever he went. He saw you stripping and just said, nope, I'm out of <laughs> here. I don't here. blame him. <laughs> I would run the other way too. <laughs> okay, there you go. And oh, here's God. some gasoline. I'm so terrified. Why do I need gasoline? Um, You'll see. <laughs> You're getting okay. a tour of the of the new build. Okay. Oh, UTC's body is like exploding. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it is for me. I don't even know where he's at. He's on the zip line. There's a zip line? Yeah, you gotta use the zip line to get up to it. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, it takes a little bit of a jump to do it, especially if you're short like me, but it should work. There you go. Haha. Ta da! <laughs> And you zip line up to the top. Now, the key... Did you... Get out of me. <laughs> All right, so you're going to want to stop, and then you hit E. If you jump, you're going to die. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> so many people are going to die. But anyways, look. It's beautiful. Oh, this is freaking sweet. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at our flap flaps. They're so happy. Beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, this took us all day. So oh I figured God. since you were the only person on the server that you would get the only tour. So yes. now more people need to play on the server and you'll get personal tours of things. Yeah, I mean look at this awesome. thing. This thing's beautiful. Wow, damn, you guys are wow, you've been busy. Busy, busy, busy. We tried to make a, a sphere and it it came out spherish. It technically is a. S Oops. Did you just die? I almost. If I did, if I did, if I didn't have uh, creative mode on, yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for being my guinea pig. I'm You're glad welcome. you didn't die. So, anyways, I thought that would be uh, a little bit of fun showing off our fresh build to whoever's on the server. But I had a lot of fun. Playing with UTC today, I believe he is uh, showing his peoples all about the stuffs as well. But um, yeah, definitely make sure to check the link in the description for basically the tool that we used to figure out exactly how to build this. And you can do something like this for yourselves. Now, to obviously, if you're going to be building something into a cliff like this, you're going to need to use Structures Plus with no foundation support. But... If you want to do this on the ground, this can be done completely with vanilla structures. Although, obviously, it'll look a little bit different with uh, the greenhouses. 
Um, you're not going to be able to do quite the glass walls that we've done here. But all in all, I really like the way it came out. I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Our Flap Flaps finally have a beautiful Flap Flap home. And we're actually going to be making more of these as we go. We're going to build something over there. So basically the zoo will have these little enclosures up in the air to zip line through the zoo. We're going to be able to maybe make like a glider locations as well. So this is going to be way, way crazier than the first zoo. We got to step our game up, ladies and gentlemen. And I think so far we have. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Don't mind the, uh, you know, the little calicotherium getting their groove on over there. Uh, we'll be making some babies of them soon. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!